Did you know that after the Q2 results report, an analyst predicts that the value of Tesla shares might reach $2,500? Considering the present price of Tesla's stock, this may be difficult to believe. To find out why he said it, make sure to keep watching and tuning in. Tesla's stock was trading between $600 and $700 in the past few months. However, the stock is currently trading at $800 following the Q2 earnings announcement. It's no secret that the EV company's stock is valued astronomically high. Bulls at Tesla predict that the company's stock will rise even more now that manufacturing has been hampered by supply chain problems for nearly two years. You'll learn today why a professional predicted that following the Q2 report, Tesla shares will be valued thousands of dollars. Awaiting the Q2 earnings announcement, investors wanted to know how bait of an impact the dip has had on Tesla. Carter Worth of Worth Charting, also referred to as the Chart Master, stated that the electric automaker is perched on a razor's edge prior to the publication of the research. Worth remarked, The tension is palpable. The edge is sharp. It is perfectly poised between triumph and tragedy. He described a particular chart as having high volatility, low variance. In its Q2 financial report, Tesla revealed revenues of $16.934 billion, over $400 million higher than Wall Street anticipated, and earnings per share of $2.27 non-JAP, compared to Wall Street's estimate of $1.81. During the quarter, the company's cash position improved by $0.8 billion to $18.3 billion. The automotive gross margin decreased 27.9% from 32.9% in the previous quarter and 28.4% in the previous year due to increased competition for battery cells and other parts of electric vehicles, as well as inflation. $14.6 billion of the company's entire revenue came from the automotive sector, $1.47 billion from services and other revenue, and $866 million from the energy business. According to the same report, the company's revenue from automotive regulatory credits in the second quarter was $344 million, down $10 million, or about 3% from the same period in 2021. The auto industry is estimated to be worth $2.5 trillion, and Tesla is one of the few companies leading this market. According to Gene Munster, managing partner and co-founder of Loop Ventures, a research-driven venture capital firm investing in frontier tech companies, the EV company has an excessive demand for its products. According to Munster, Tesla recorded a 27% increase in deliveries in June, a significant decrease from the 67% surge in March. He claimed that people's desire to own vehicles is the source of the rapid development, even in spite of the rising cost of buying a car and the much higher cost of taking out loans for one. According to him, there is a greater demand for Tesla goods than there is supply. He contrasted General Motors and Tesla's respective output figures of 60 and 70,000 cars. As a result, he thinks the company will eventually be valued at a greater amount and might perhaps be worth $2,500 over the next five years. It is clear from the earnings report that Tesla was able to overcome the challenges faced by the electric vehicle industry throughout the quarter. Furthermore, the business has advanced significantly on the noteworthy cutting-edge initiatives that it is engaged in. Tesla's stock was at $X prior to the report's release. The stock was trading around $800 the following day. At the moment, the stock is trading at $816.73. Numerous initiatives were highlighted during the results call, including 4680, FSD, and Cybertruck. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, stated during the aforementioned call that the company had an unusual quarter because of a protracted shutdown of its Shanghai plant. However, despite all of these difficulties, it was one of our strongest quarters ever. It's no secret that supply chain problems following China's implementation of the zero COVID policy had a significant negative impact on production. Despite this, Musk thinks the second half of the year could be a record-breaking one. He went on to say, Though I do want to emphasize this is obviously subject to force major things outside of our control. Musk stated that although 4680 will be significant next year, 
it is not significant this year. As a result, the firm is presently producing cars with 2170 cells and is not dependent on it. Accordingly, in order to increase capacity, they have set up the second generation of production machinery for 4680 cells in Texas, as well as other plants like Fremont and Shanghai. With regard to Autopilot, over 100,000 customers have benefited from the FSD beta, which allows them to drive on city streets. Owner satisfaction is high, and Tesla plans to keep enhancing the system every week. Musk revealed that the team's ongoing priorities are some future platform design and getting Cybertruck ready for manufacturing. By the middle of next year, they hope to have the Cybertruck in production. I think it might actually be our best product ever, Musk says. Do you believe that Tesla's performance will be strong going forward? Post your ideas in the space provided for comments below. Zachary Kirkhorn, the chief financial officer of Tesla, stated that despite the sequential reduction in production volume brought on by COVID-related shutdowns in Shanghai, the company made significant advancements in almost all business domains, especially in the global vehicle production rate, which he attributes to the entire Tesla team. In addition, the Shanghai factory resumed full production, the Fremont factory, which the Reno team helped to support, broke new production records, and the upcoming factories in Austin and Berlin are making good progress through their first ramps. Furthermore, the energy sector generated the biggest solar volume in many years while maintaining record gross profit. According to Kirkhorn, the company's holdings in Bitcoin were mostly converted to fiat or realized gains, with impairment charges applied to the remaining holdings. This resulted in a $106 million cost to the P&L that was included in the restructuring. In addition, he mentioned that they had to pay restructuring costs because of their deliberate workforce cutbacks. Musk clarified that they liquidated a large portion of their Bitcoin holdings because they were unsure when the COVID lockdowns in China would end and felt it was crucial to optimize their cash position in light of this uncertainty. He continued by saying that given the COVID shutdowns in China, they were worried about the company's total liquidity. Musk responded that the Tesla train is currently the best Chinese EV producer when asked how Tesla can ensure that the firm stays ahead of the Chinese EV manufacturers, who appear to be doing a better job of developing in software and design than their Western counterparts. I have a lot of respect for our manufacturers, the Chinese and EV manufacturers in particular, Musk declared. They will undoubtedly be a global force to be reckoned with. We have great regard for the present Chinese enterprises and their abilities because they are highly intelligent and diligent. Yes, even though Tesla's Q2 report exceeded expectations, a $2,500 price tag seems a bit excessive right now. Although the EV company's stocks are valued at $2,500, it may be important to note that this valuation is only expected to hold for a few more years. Indeed, by 2025, an analyst projected that the price of Tesla shares will surpass $2,500. The founder, CEO, and CIO of ARK Invest, an investment firm with $60 billion in assets that makes bets on cutting-edge technologies like genomics and self-driving cars, Kathy Wood, an American investor and renowned stock picker, has a $3,000 price objective for Tesla by 2025. Investors in Tesla should aim for either a price gain of much more than the present $800 level for the EV company's stock. Recall that a few months prior, Tesla's stock was trading between $600 and $700, which caused other investors to liquidate their holdings. All that can be hoped for is that the business will perform well moving forward. Adam Jonas of Morgan Stanley made a noteworthy comment regarding Tesla, stating that the present state of EV technology is like a race that Tesla has so far been winning. He likened the electric vehicle, EV, sector to a marathon, saying that Tesla is leading at mile 21, while other companies are still in the second mile and, in a metaphorical sense, are still tying their shoes. In order to bolster his argument, he provided data on recent car deliveries, which show that Tesla is still in a solid position and is getting stronger as the marathon goes on.